Ethical Guidelines of Psychology Research. What are the ethical guidelines? So there is a mandate that APA's ethic code has. The first one is IRB. Um, also, I just want to point out that it doesn't give all standard eight different different topics give different meanings. So there's the IRB, which is a committee that reviews the study and the research that you give and see that if it is ethical or unethical. Two, informed consent. You have to get consent from participants to even start your research. There's also um, just debriefing research, misconduct, and animal research, which have their own individual things. Um, the purpose of the research is expected duration and procedures. Um, participants' rights to decline to participate and to withdraw from the research once it has started, as well as the anticipation um, consequences of doing so. These are some things that um, the ethic codes also mandates that psychologists who conduct research, research should inform their participants about. Some other things that they should inform them about is the risk um, and the discomfort. You might not be uncomfortable, you might be uncomfortable with things that you're answering or that you're doing. Um, they also need to know the benefits that come with the research because it's always good to know if it's going to benefit anyone. Um, and they can also ask questions because sometimes you don't wanna be uninformed. Um, this is just a little guide that I have that gives you kind of an idea of what ethics really is. Talks about values and moral principles, which those are my favorite. Um, the reason why it's important is it protects the rights and welfare of persons and participants. Um, as you see in the slide, I literally just said something about the ethics committee and told you what they were. Um, how to make your study ethical. One, you should discuss about it. Um, you should also think about the multiple rules, follow informed consent rules, respect privacy, um, and then tap into the ethics resource. I always suggest seeing if somebody else thinks that your hypothesis is also ethical before you submit it to IRB, because the IRB application is very long and takes some time. And so it'd be nice to see if somebody else thinks that your study is going to be ethical before you do such time with the application. Um, in my opinion, the most important ethical principle is the justice and benefits in it because it achieves an ethical balance in research. It also gives respect and justice for a person and it involves the risk and benefits to the entire study. I also gave another uh, diagram and table, just like some other words for respect, integrity, and responsibility. I also like to know these because it kind of gives more of the guideline to it instead of the ethics, just like the benefits to going to that IRB and making sure that your study is ethical and what it's going to do for future lives. These are my resources and that's the end.